The wishy-washiness of the weather continues today. Yeah. Back and forth. That was good. That was a little alliteration in there. Yeah, we yeah. started with sun, ended up with clouds, a couple of sprinkles. Overall, not a bad pattern, though. I wanted to start with this morning, which seems distant at this time, but I wake up this morning and I thought, well, this is, this is crisp. 40s, Freiburg, 36 in Berlin. We're going to see more of that later in the week. We'll talk about it in a second. But we recovered, got to the upper 60s, low 70s. One of the hallmarks of fall weather, at least the way we picture it, the, the ideal fall weather, is those huge diurnal swings from chilly mornings to comfortable to almost warm afternoons. Today had that. We also started to cloud up in the afternoon. We've got some showers out there. Sprinkles really over southern Maine. Some slightly heavier stuff here into the mountains north of Rangeley, but even there it's not, uh, you know, downpour activity. This line of showers will persist over the next few hours, slowly shifting eastward. Bangor could get into several showers here overnight tonight. Most of us though will end up dry and we start tomorrow morning and this model is I think fairly optimistic that we won't have any sprinkles along the coast. I think there's a chance for a brief shower in the morning along the coastline. The farther north you get the nicer it'll be though. Sunshine right from the beginning. Bangor points northward and then we start clearing such that even the coast should clear out by about one or two uh, I think in most spots and see some sunshine through the rest of the day. Temperatures upper 60s, some low 70s, really pleasant. Cool uh, but quiet overnight tomorrow night. And then Wednesday is largely dry. There's an isolated mountain top sprinkle, but I didn't put that in the forecast. I think it'll be very isolated. But we only get to about 60, 61 degrees for a high. So a lot of the day spent in the 50s, which we haven't seen a lot of outside of the mountains so far this season. I think it'll be the most fallish day yet. Now our overall pattern is this upper level low. So we get a chance for showers coming back in on Wednesday night and again on Thursday afternoon. And it's just because of the instability provided by an upper level low. Upper level lows are not killers. You're not going to have four days of heavy rain or really any heavy rain, but you're going to see a chance for showers whenever this upper level low is around. So that's how our week really kind of looks. Good news. This is Sam. Here's the good news. Follow the yellow brick road, <laughs> follow the lines and the models have uh, really agreed that this thing is not going to hit the East Coast, which is good because synoptically it looked like it had a chance last week. Uh, I'm optimistic on the weekend at this time. It is worth noting um, some of the model guidance does have some showers on Saturday, so don't lock Saturday in just yet, but I think we should be okay. Temperatures in the 60s just kind of yeah, it's definitely coolish. We'll have some 30s overnight over the Thursday night, Friday night, and perhaps uh, Saturday night as well. It's fall, baby. It's like legit now. <laughs> All right. Thanks. Thanks, Keith.